Yo, how are they hanging? Everything in place? Great. So let's play some more Masquerade. Uh, I mean, Vampire Masquerade. Alright, we are about to enter Kuei Jin territory, but not quite yet. No one sees us down here. So we can fill up the little blood that we are missing. Well, I guess they did see us. Hey, hang on. They spawned out of nowhere. That was quick. Well, that was a delightful introduction. Great. Uh, so the cops can get down here. Sadly. Let's see if we can av avoid them. So yeah. We wanted to go to our apartment and check our email. But um, we also wanted to do Tony Sessions mission. Uh, the Tony Session mission, rather. For Imalia. So, as soon as the police leaves us alone, there you go, we can go out again. By the way, I totally forgot the lucky star. Of course it has, it has a double meaning when it comes to what uh, the caitiff or sin blood or whatever on the beach said. Um, she said it's the home of the star. The stars, the lucky star motel. It's not only that home has a, a double meaning, or in a sense that Hollywood is the home of the stars and a motel is a home, but also, of course, stars has a double meaning. Like, you know, it's called the lucky star. And there are stars in Hollywood, of course. Anyway. So much for that. Um, let's have a look at our log. Maya wants you to plant and activate cameras in Tony Sessions' apartment in Hollywood. One in a bedroom, one in a bathroom, and one in a kitchen. Okay, we also can go to the ground zero again. Wow, my mouse just freaked out. And um, look, Jesus. Oh, this is still a war zone here. Yeah. Look up what Tony Sessions is all about. In the database here. S to Z. Sessions. Tony. Oops, I cannot write, obviously. 3S three, three is 1S too much. Sessions Tony Uber model Tony Sessions has an apartment right here in Hollywood and can often be found with no shopping in Beverly Hills. Fame at your fingertips. Well, that's not too informative. Uber Uber model. I think it comes from the German Uber. I'm not hundred percent sure, I guess. Which means uh, like super or above but usually there would be umlauts above that you in German so let's find the apartments here there is a bus stop here which should have a map. Mm. Yeah. Hollywood Apartments 10. It's next to uh, Abrams Jewelry, right? Okay, cool. So it should be here, down, down here somewhere. Um, hotel. 
Right. Will that hunt? Those who break the laws are slain. If you break the traditions. Well, I cannot recite them, but there are like five or six. Like, respect your elders, respect your do doma the domain of another, and uh, uh, the most important one being uh, not breaking the masquerade, of course. Though so those laws can be interpreted somewhat flexible by the prince and other uh, members of the hierarchy that are above you. Nine lives, celebrity Ash Rivers. Oh, his name is Rivers. Ash Rivers walks away from deadly crash. So I think there's a River of Phoenix uh, reverence in there somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, so this is what happened to him. Um, and Isaac, as we know, saved him like he he was doing a James Dean and he kinda saved him by making turning him into a vampire okay now we have to find locations where we need to plant those de bugs those devices just a quick save here well this is a new painting I guess Let me see. Let's change to the ravens. It's very quiet. No music. Jesus. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. I heard something. No, you didn't. Yeah, so this is a complete stealth mission. Well, we have we have enough blood, so I guess I can just get to a level. Oh boy. This is going to be expensive. No, why are you coming here now? Someone's peeing. Man, I don't know what's wrong with my mouse there. Hello, no one there. No, no, you don't want to go. Someone there? You don't want to come here. Hey, hold on. You botched up the set. You botched the setup for Amalia because you were noticed. Hmm, that's bad. Well, let's try this one more time. Going to try it too often, but we can be a little more careful. But this will take time. All right, so. Let's really go slow with this one and do this step by step. So she's going into the kitchen now. Oh, is she? Yeah, we need to plant something there. And the guy comes out there. There he is. Crap. Are you coming back here too? Man. You're not 
making it easy here. Well, that was a waste of points. Hmm. Hello. No one here. Anyone here? Yeah, there you are. <laughs> Let's kill her. Hey. Jesus. All right, one more try. I hope it loads the right safe this time. Yeah, it does. Okay, let's just be quick about it. Last try. Password? Jesus. Seriously? Alright. This might be awkward now. But I always wanted to try that. Alright, let's hack it as a bat. Nope, this doesn't work either. Oh well. I guess we're not hacking it then. Oh, he's right there. Well, then we need one more for the bathroom. Someone there? Yeah, move away from the door, please. I think you should investigate whatever is here. Please do. Come on. Well, this is getting old. Man, I really need to get in there. Do it. Just one step or two. Hmm. I could kill him, but that would screw up the whole mission. Well, he bugged out. And again. If I Oh, it didn't screw up the mission for whatever reason. Weird. That doesn't seem to be right. The safe. Uh, whatever happens, let's just go with it. With it. Uh, oh no. Well, final reload. We did it anyway. We just need to get out here. It's kind of stupid redoing this, but what the hell. That was especially bad timing. She came around the corner right when I wanted to go. Well, it is kind of difficult to break into one's home when they're in there. But it's kind of odd that, you know, she won't notice the body in there of the guy that I killed. Oh well. Who knows how this works. So let me see. You successfully planted the cameras in Tony Tony's apartment for Amalia. Log into Tony's Tony's computer using the password Cleopatra. Oh I see. Well we are not done here. Okay. 
wasted all my blood here on this mission. I'm trying to hack the PC, PC while I know, already know the password. That's kind of dumb. Camera, camera, Cleo, Patra. Cool, cam track. Three cameras detected, network cameras. Nicely done. I can't wait to see dirty little Tawny in action. We are monitoring you from here. Get out quietly and come back. Well, it was kind of cheated, but eh, what can you do? Man, the mouse is really weird today. It's not that bad, usually. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, there you are. Ah, let's save the blood. We don't need to distract you once more. Okay, later. This is quite a nice apartment, huh? Looks expensive. Okay, so now we go back to our own apartment. Need a ride? Oh, I, I totally forgot to check if there's the Easter egg thingy there, a videotape in uh, Tawny Sessions' apartment. But, well, I don't know where the others w are, but I kind of went through every room, right? Man, I'm really not sure where the others are. Oh, well, it's life. A loose collection of legendary in history, the Book of Nod chronicles the origin, the origin of Kindred. Perhaps. Um, what's scroll? Short for scrotum? I don't know. Sorry, I'm not. English is not my native language. Um, right, my apartment. Yeah, there's still the blood bank mission in there, but. Yeah, fuck it. I don't want to do it. We are not cruel like that. Uh, even though, if you think about it, Jeanette or Therese, Vorman, whoever of those two was it, was kind of fine with uh, like hooking a vampire up with needles and, and uh, sucking blood from them regularly. and. Um, Keeping them in, in prison, basically, tied to a chair. Deb's back, and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it into the AM. That's a new one. In case you didn't know it, you're tuned into the Deb of Night on KTRK. I'm your lovely hostess. Feel free to fantasize about me all you want, but please don't send any more drawings. The lines are all full, so why don't I provide some relief? Line three, you're speaking to me. Stop, Deb. And what have you been up to tonight, caller? Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm getting up. <laughs> I'm effed up, Deb! Woo! What's the occasion? It's a weekday. Touche. Hey, Deb. <laughs> hey, Deb. Hey, Deb. Hey, Deb. Yes, General? Oh, man. I had this amazing idea. I thought, you ready for this? All night. Y you know all those problems we've been having in the Mideast? Yes. Those damn Virginians. Okay, okay. So, like, I figured this out, right? Okay, okay. So, if we want peace in the Middle East, think about it. What makes people peaceful? Smoking the Sensimilla. <laughs> what brings people together? Sensimilla. So, like, think on this. For, like, half the cost of one of those, um, blockbuster bombs, we can, like, buy enough pizza and enough herbs for, like, everybody over there. And then, like, bam, instant 
Sure, sounds like a plan. Moving on. Line four, what's keeping you up tonight? Yeah, I'm about to reveal something that... I've been putting my life on the line. But the people, the people of this city and this country and this planet, they have the right to know this. Do you understand? What's the word, Gomez? This is serious. There are a lot of organizations that would do anything in their power to keep this a secret. I don't doubt. Yeah, yeah, this is really serious. I'm not sure if we have this one already. No. We didn't. Wow. Conspiracy. It all makes sense now. Sure. It sure does. They control our TVs, for sure. turned up lately? As a matter of fact, and again, I shouldn't be talking about this, but I believe it is everybody's right to know that recycling is a myth. All they do with those bottles and cans is collect DNA samples from your saliva so they can clone you and train your phone to assess that you and assume your identity should you go poke your nose in a hole while performing business. Thank you, Gomez. I hate to interrupt this mentally stimulating conversation, <laughs> but the people who keep me chained to the console at this radio station, in my underwear and less, want you to spend money on this stuff. Last year, Democratic candidate Michael Redmond sparked a sports utility vehicle. Three months later, there were two separate incidences of hit and runs by an unidentified SUV in his area. Is Democratic candidate Michael Redmond to blame? Can you afford to take that chance? That's great. Candidate children. Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate that has never committed vehicular homicide. <laughs> Democratic candidate Michael Redmond has never publicly stated his opinion on child pornography. Is it because he's hiding something? Would you want a child pornographer voting on this nation's <laughs> Would you trust your children's future to someone like that? Vote Republican Senator Robert Cohen, the candidate that is committed to locking up child pornographers. Democratic candidate Michael Rebens recently sued Senator Robert Cohen for accusing Rebens of being a murderous child pornographer. But Rebens had previously said he was against calling courts with frivolous lawsuits. Who do this make him a Would you want a hypocrite as your next congressman? Would you want your children to become hypocrites? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate not accused of being a murderous child pornographer. Preparing for a business sales pitch but don't know how to sell your ideas? Try virtual meeting! So yeah, this was the poster we have seen, uh, the billboard um, ad we have seen in the city in downtown, I think it was, uh, where it said, uh, Senator something something is not a, a child molestering murder some something. So this, this is how smear campaigns work, right? They just uh, make a vague and loose connection. Uh, you know what I wanted to write now? Smear. Well, that's not the topic here. Alright, the cost. Email for suckhead. Great. Someone hacked into my computer. The cost of an oh this is from a friend again. The cost of an attack is often paid later. Okay. All right. This is from Mitnick, Yo Mama. First network hub, Mitnick here. I've got the information on the first of the inf uh, network hubs. The terminal is in Santa Monica, in an old place called Megahertz. Com computing. I'll send another email with Reckon. Power up the terminal, find the net security folder and run the Shacknet command. The password on the folder is Jill Bates. Don't ask. I'll message you when I see the hub activated. Yeah, I don't get that reference sadly. I don't know. Jill Bates. So this is the second mail from Mitnick. Megahertz computing is at the end of 2nd Street in Santa Monica. Next to the asylum. The only entrance is through the back door, so you'll have to find an alley to get back there. I'm leaving you a key for the door in your mailbox. Good luck, kid. This one should be easy. Prince is promoting you, Gary Shreknet. Hey, boss. Did some spring, spring cleaning. Oh, by the way. 
since I'm reading boss here, I, I put in those little uh, clips of, of uh, the sin blood uh, from the beach, the seer, the prophet, and um, I think I forgot one of them, like uh, when she talks about he's furious, she's obviously talking about Lacroix there, uh, she, when he is furious, when he found out uh, that the Nosferatu have stolen the sarcophagus from the museum. So this is where that uh, part of the prophecy belongs. And well, all the other ones you can see for yourself. This is, all, as you probably already have noticed, um, connected to the main quest so all the things that didn't make sense like dinosaurs and mm, the the crimson ship and whatnot all this all these things are main story missions so yeah there you go only one thing is not quite clear yet even though we have seen it and that's the part um, where she says uh, um, he's not who, s who she says he is or something like that and this is um, related to the um, uh, Malkavian mansion when you're looking for Alastair Grout um, so we don't know what that what is that is supposed to mean yet but she all sh that's also a thing she predicted when she said uh, boss right that's what Gary does he addresses the main character as boss for whatever reason it's kind of condescending in some way hey boss did some spring cleaning today came across something that might tickle you a kid used to live here, had an unhealthy crush on everyone's favorite psycho pinup, Jeanette Vorman. I got a touch. Oh, this is the Easter egg mission. I got a touch of nostalgia. So, you find a copy of Tap Hotel staring me? I'll trade you a poster of that luscious lunatic for it. Put the videotape in your mailbox and I'll deliver it to your haven. Yeah. Tap Hotel. Cool. Let me see. Um, is that the video we have? Tap hotel it is. Shuffle step. The former sex symbol had been vandalized. The star was entombed in the Hollywood Eternal Mausoleum after her death in 1964. Nothing was stolen from the crypt, but estimates put the damage at over $1,000. Oh. Concerned parent groups joined several senators on the step of Capitol Hill to protest the latest wave of violent mm -hmm. video games. Senator Limperman called the games pornography and was offended by <laughs> crude shots taken at him by one recent game. Really? Among the titles the group is trying to get banned from stores are Mangle Garden, Rape and Pillage, and Abe yeah. Lincoln Teaches Killing. Protesters say yeah, we had that. media. We had that already before. I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting forever. I've been kind of nervous. I can't feel you inside my veins anymore. I just need a little more, please, Master. Just a few drops. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Come here, my pet. Thank you. <sighs> Amazing. She's I feel really so addicted. Much better. Like I'm the most important person in the world. Next to you, of course. Hmm, smoke. Isn't that cute? I'll see you later, Heather. Okay, awesome. So let's check our uh, mailbox. Access card, megahertz, and let's put the tape in there. Hmm. I wonder if I check the email 
again right now if it uh, will have already registered. No. Maybe if we leave the house and enter again. I could also drink some blood. My ghoul. It's kind of weird. I'm giving her blood, she's giving me blood bag. Maybe we should just keep our blood. Yeah. Email. Rocket launcher for sale. Rocket launcher for sale. Boss, got another poster. Just collecting dust. If you want to trade, looks like one of the Anax did some art photos before she got embraced. It's all yours for the low, low price of one data to CD. Might be in Metalhead Industries. You've talked to Mitnick, right? In the mailbox, like before. Okay, so Metalhead is not here. This Mitnick quest is one of those, uh, let's call it global missions. Uh, it goes from one area, area to another. Oh, I wanted to talk to her. And um, so you have to go inside all the... And they're all like Nosferatu missions, like stealth mission missions where you have to plant cameras in some kind of warehouse or something like Master? that. Oh, I need blood. Awesome. Much better. All right. So let's check megahertz company. Um, he said it was next to the asylum. And this is pretty much the last place we can visit here in Santa Monica where we have not been yet. Megahertz computing. And as, as I've said, it's a stealth mission. Let's look at uh, the log here. Uh, you have received instructions on how to activate the Santa Monica Network Hub. You need to find Megahertz Computing and enter through the other way. Midnight has left the key. Power up the terminal. Find Net Security folder and run Shrek Net command. Password on the folder is Jill Bates. All right. Hmm. This looks promising. So what Gary said was inside. Um, Oh, I need to go back to Emalia Ima to get to finish the quest at Metal Head Industries, I think he said. Ta da! Let there be light. Eight. Oh, come on. Oh, well, we can put some points into this. Sixteen. Great. Um, yeah, so... Hmm. Lock picking, security and dexterity? Well, that stinks. Can I get out of here? 
Really? Man. Well, then at least we have the light turned on, I guess. Second, I thought I cannot go back. <laughs> Maybe we need to do this to power the computer up as well. I don't even remember. Hello, anybody in here? Oh. Never mind, I think I found what I wanted. What I'm looking for. Net security. Well, was it this one? Yeah. Shracknet. Nice going, kid. Shracknet hub enabled. I'll email you with instructions for the next hub. Cool. There's another room there, but I think there are just people in there. Oh, this is the same door? No, there's actually no one here. Amazing. I remember this differently. I'm probably confused. This wasn't really a stealth mission then. No need to uh, sneak around there. So we need to check our email again for the next location. Well, someone was in a rush. Oh well. The game was f not finished when they released it. It was full of bugs. I mean it wasn't unplayable but this unofficial patch I must say really does make a difference. There were just points of where you could get stuck if you are unlucky like I said. The one point in, in the warrants there. Mm. Colonel Mausoleum after her death in 1964. Nothing was stolen. Yeah, then the last, I know. Three. Wow. That was quick. Um, 13. The next terminal is in the basement of the Nocturne Theater in downtown. Reckon to follow. No one can know you were there. Stay out of sight and no killing. I need you to set up a wireless cam. I sent you instructions on how to activate it. Once it's in place and activated, log in to the net security folder, password break a leg, and run ShrekNet. The Nocturne Theater is downtown just across from the Empire Arms Hotel. I couldn't get a key to the front door, so you'll have to enter through the sewer. Sorry, that's the best I could do. I put the camera down in your mailbox. I had an operative operative scope out the jo oh I had an operative scope out the joint beforehand, and he marked the best place for the camera with a red X. Oh, that's convenient. Find it, it's probably someplace high and mounts a camera. Once you've put it in place, log into the terminal, downstairs, find the camera folder and activate netcam. You won't be able to activate the hub until the camera is in place. Boss, got another poster. Just collecting dust. Alright, we had that. Oh yeah, so it is Metalhead Industries. Um, yeah, this was in Hollywood, right? I think it was. And there she is, our favorite lunatic, mowing astroturf. 
in kind of real life, right? This is a real life uh, photo. Oh, well, I don't know, because I've seen the photos of the voice actors and I think she looks different. Um, I think she has dark hair and doesn't look like Jeanette. She really actually looks like the character model, maybe they made the mo character model after her, I don't know, and mixed it up with another voice, maybe. So let's get out, let's get the cameras out of the mail once more. Alright, yeah, we can do the down downtown quest as well, but yeah, let's make a short break here. <laughs>